all right hey guys welcome to your fun fishing adventures channel my name's scotty we're gonna do probably a little 15 or 20 minute uh 15 or 20 minute uncut video i am at the spillway at clearwater lake in piedmont missouri on the lower black river uh, we don't really have too much longer before it gets dark so we're gonna try to catch a couple crappie i don't know if it's gonna happen or not so hang out with me let's see what happens hopefully you can see pretty good because i've got the chest cam on and i cannot see what the chest cam sees i know there are crappie in here i just don't know if they're gonna bite i might be too deep i might be too shallow i am fishing with a bobber and a minnow today and this water's running a little bit harder than normal so it may have them pushed out as well i will tell you what that sun went down and it got cool i mean it was cool already but my hands are freezing now some big dummy forgot to bring his gloves out of his truck. That would have been me. I know the fish are out here. I would say, hey, fishy, fishy. But I don't think it's going to do much good today. If I get really lucky, I'll get a walleye jump on my line. Or a flathead. I'd take anything right now. I got off work, so I was like, ah, I'm going to the camper. I have three days off. So before I went to the camper to put everything up, I had to come try out fishing. And right here in this area, they're usually a whole little school of uh, crappie. Um, there must be some structure or something right out there that they like. You guys might be right up on the bank or they might be out in the middle they may not be here at all all we can do is let that bobber float around with that minnow and see what happens i'd really like to do a live stream down here but i have cricket or at&t whichever they run off the same power and there's just not any good service down here at all if you go up on top of the structure right here, I don't know how well you can see it. You can get service there. But that doesn't do any good to do a live stream. I guess this is my first bank fishing adventure for the day. Probably my own one for today, but tomorrow, daybreak, I'm going to be out here on the river in my boat. I'm going to find some crappie. I'm going to try to get some walleye. Hopefully one of the two will bite. Like I might get lucky and find a couple catfish like I did last time. And I'm sure I'll probably get checked by the conservation guy again. He's checked me the last few times I've been down here. I'm like, I never see a conservation or a conservation officer down here. Especially during the winter time. Not that I care, I'm all legal. Really, I'm kind of glad to see somebody's coming down here to check. So like I said, there ain't I ain't been I've been coming down here for probably 20 years and I've only been checked maybe twice out of 20 years I got to find them crappie maybe I go a little shallower Let's see if that makes a difference
when I was here last week, I think the water temperature was right around 45 or 48. Now right up above me up here, there's actually a big lake that this comes out of. It's uh, more of a flood control for, I guess, Arkansas and the lower part of the river. Come on, fishies. Bought my manor. It wants to be somebody's dinner. I guess we're not sitting over here. Let's try out here in front of us a little bit. If I had a jig tied up, I'd be trying to use a jig, but this is easier. I knew I didn't have much time. And I had minnows, and boy, it just seems like I catch more fish on minnows than I do jigs, but. Sometimes they won't touch your minnow and they'll just tear your jig up. Come on guys. I know you're there. I kind of wonder what Rod would do over at Rod's Fishing Adventures in this spot. I know what he'd do. He'd tie on the jig. And be like, don't put them animals on you jigs. He's a great jig fisherman, though. So if you get a chance, check out Rod's Fishing Adventures on YouTube. Maybe they're up here by the shore. Last time I come and stood in this one spot, I caught one little itty bitty bass. Bass probably wasn't six inches long. But a fish is still a fish and it still counts. getting colder out here. I know you want to bite that minnow. Oh, there's just nothing going on. I don't know why. Come on, guys. I know you're there. This ain't doing no good. I'm gonna go deeper. I'm gonna drop that dude down. I'm gonna go about seven foot deep. It's the nice thing about using the slip bobber. You can adjust that as much as you need to. I'm gonna go a little deeper than that, I think. Try it about there. That should get us pretty close to the bottom. I'm guessing. I don't really know how deep this is. I can't get my boat up in here. So I really don't know. This little channel that runs through here gets really shallow. You wouldn't think it would because when this uh, spillway is wide open, there's just a ton of current that comes through here. You'd think it'd wash all that stuff out, but it doesn't. We're 
Where are you guys at? Something's got to be hungry in here. Come on, come on, come on. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Man, that's hard to believe. Let's chuck that dude out a little farther. Maybe they're deeper. We'll get on the middle of that channel. Generally, you probably don't like a swifter water, but I've seen them out there before. Swifter water. Flatheads don't mind the softer water or the swifter water. I sure hope I got some hot hands at the camper like I think I do because them are going to go in my pockets when I come out tomorrow. So the big plan for tomorrow's trip is I'm going to try for some walleye. I'll probably do that for a couple of hours. I'm going to do some crappie fishing. I need to find some eligible fish for the Sunfish King uh, Winter Tournament. And three of the four fish that are on the tournament for this part of the year, I can get out of this river. And if I do it right, I can get the fourth fish on my way home, which would be a trout. But first, I gotta catch a fish. That's why it's called fishing. It's not called catching, guys. Can't always get it the way you want it. Come on. Here, I'm gonna try up by this wall. Get a little farther up here. These rocks are dangerous. Not as sure-footed as I used to be. And they rebuilt this area. And I just fell. Luckily enough, I landed solid. And I sat on a flat rock. Sorry, my throat's in the way. So seeing as how I fell on this rock, I'm gonna sit my butt on here. No more fish. That could have been bad. I could have went in that water really quick. That would have been a bad, bad thing. So my bobbers drifted up against this wall. Nah, I might get back up. I don't like to sit down and fish. I don't like to fall down either. Almost fell down again. Get you guys lined back up here. I know y'all can't see my bobber. I can't even see my bobber. I think it's all snagged tied up anyway. It's not dropping down like it should. There it went. My 
bobbers right there. Now you'd think that there'd be some crop up oh, there, maybe something sitting right there off of that uh, little wing wall. Come on, little crappie. I can't tell if something's trying to pull that or if it's the current's pushing the bait back and it's pulling that bobber under. You sure ain't acting like a fish bite. Uh, it's, it's a current drawing that bobber back in. That's what it's doing. Bite on that little minner. I guess it's probably about 34, 35 degrees out here right now, so it's not too bad. It's just that wind's coming. There's a wind coming through here. Makes it a little bit chillier. when they redid this they would have put concrete all the way across this roof raft so people didn't get hurt or fall in we could have put a rail down here too we made it a lot better my bobber swirled in that little ball of scum or whatever the heck that is right there Almost like it in that little ball of scum, it keeps staying there. I pull it away and it goes right back to it. Kind of acting like it's hung up a little bit. It might be a little bit too deep right there. How about that silly thing drops down to 15 or 20 feet right there. I wish I had one of those eye bobbers I could cast out there and I find out. I think it's called an eye bobber. You know, it's a little, son it's a little sonar bobber that you can get and put on your rod and check it out there. They're expensive. They're like 100 bucks for a cheap one. I'd trade to throw it out there and lose it. And that'd be my luck. It'd pop right off my line. Hey, there's somebody else's minnow right there. That's a little bitty shad. A little bitty shad. It's trying to make it. It's flapping its little flappers. I don't think it's going to make it, though. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. I doubt it. This is real fishing. I think I'm going to give it two more casts after this and I'm going to call it. If we catch something we do, if we don't, we don't. But I've got stuff to go take up to the camper and get the heat turned on in the camper. Warm it up. Go inside and watch a couple YouTube videos. See if Skipjack Cindy's live or the Bank of Fishing Adventures is out there doing a live. I'm 
sure somebody would be out there watching live uh, YouTube fishing videos. It's kind of fun. It's the anticipation to see if that big blue cat's going to bite or what you're going to catch. We don't have big blue cats here. We have channel, channel, uh, channel cat and flathead. Which one of my subscribers down in Texas, Rob, he's like, man, I wish we could catch flathead. So I, I don't guess they have flathead down in Texas, but everything's big down there. So I'm like, I'm sure you got plenty of really nice fish to catch down there that we don't have here. Come on, fish. Where are you at? I ain't getting no closer to that water. I will fall in. It's like I almost did a few minutes ago. Sure ain't as easy to hold my balance as it used to be. go ahead and walk down this way a little bit oh wait a minute wait wait here we go that's a fish we got a fish guys all right we found us a nice crappie there we go There you go, guys. I'd say it's probably about nine and a half, ten inches. Let's see if there's another one there. There you go, guy. Back he goes. I knew there'd be some fish. Gotta find them. I might have been up too far. They might have been down here a little farther. But apparently I'm at the right depth, at least for that guy. My, my mentor's dead, so I'm just going to kind of bob it a little bit and see if I can't draw some attention to it. It's about where he was at. a couple feet off the shore well, I'd probably say he's about eight foot off the shore let's walk and see if I can fall Just today and called me not so sure footed Scotty. Oh, that's why I forgot I lost my minnow. Alright, I'm gonna go put one more minnow on because I'm just a glutton for punishment and I'm cold. And I want to see if there's more crappie. And once again, the manna that has a million nets for minnows doesn't have a nut sorry if you're looking at the inside of my coat guys i got the chest strap on so if it wasn't so stinking cold i wouldn't have a coat on oh no i dropped my mena oh that's really bad he just went up underneath the rocks we're not going to get to that now. Let's try another. All right, here we go. Let's go back. Up and down the rocks we go. 
If I fall, you all will know. Because it is all live. Well, it won't be live at the time, but it's uncut. My hands are frozen. Crappie are definitely a finicky fish. Either they're on, they're on, they're off, they're off. Most of the time you'll find them at a school. But sometimes you'll just see a straggler somewhere. I think I was over to the left a little bit more. I think I was probably more out there right about here. I'm gonna flip it right there and see what happens. And if you're curious, I just use a little number size two hook. It's got a small split shot weight on her just to hold that bobber up and down. Get that bait down a little bit. And crappie are on the Sunfish King tournament list for uh, this part of the season. But I didn't bring my bump board with me and I don't think he is really big enough. I think I'll catch bigger ones this weekend. Hoping to find another one of those 14 or 15 inch crappie. Don't see many of them here, but we did catch one a few months ago. Oh, my hands are cold. Come on. I know you want that minnow. Swimming around right in front of your face, looking so enticing. Just makes you want to open your mouth and suck that minnow right on in. Come on. Right, move it just a little bit more. Try it over here. Might have just been a little straggler running up and down the way here and he bit my minna. With them little bitty shatter running up in here, that's probably what they're eating on. That shad really wasn't even bigger than a minnow, but I thought it was at first. So I seen the fork tail on it. If I could have got down to him, I'd have probably used him for bait. Not that he was really big enough, I don't think, to catch much of anything, but you don't know. Be really surprised at what will bite on what. Now I'm down quite a bit farther than what I was. Flip that dude on out there a little bit more. I was really close when I fell over there or slipped. Whatever I did, it ended up on my butt. 
If I'd have gone another foot forward, I would have been in the water. And that water is cold. Not really a place I want to be at right now is that cold water. Come on, fish. down just a little bit more like we did that last one when we get down here by the minnow bucket I'm gonna go ahead and call it a video so the moral of the story here guys is fishing's fishing you know we can all make videos and edit videos and make it look like you catch fish every cast or every few casts but to be honest we can sit here and fish for hours and catch four or five fish and it takes you guys five minutes to watch it but it took us hours and hours to do I gotta watch where I'm going there's fishing line right there I don't want to get wrapped up in that I'll come back down tomorrow and I'll pick that up I don't know why people leave fishing line all over the place it's not that hard to get At least there's not all kinds of trash down here. So I grab that stuff up too when I see it. People are too lazy to pick it up. They can drag it down here. But they sure don't like to pick it up. Alright guys, I'm back down to my minnow bucket. So I'm going to go ahead and call it a video. Thank you all for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. You know, it's real fishing. Have a great evening. Thank you for watching your Fun Fishing Adventures channel.